911 calls that will scare the crap out of you. On Sunday, May 27, 2018, between 3 p.m. and 5 p.m., a massive storm released nearly two months of rain over 9.71 inches into Elkhart City, where the temperature was 70 degrees, causing catastrophic flooding in the surrounding areas, which swept away roads and cars and brought more than 10 feet of rapid moving water down the main street in the old Elkhart City. Here are some of the 911 calls. There was only two deaths. Neither of them were related to these 911 calls. Are you missed the call from you? Yes, I have a lady stuck in a building over here across the street for where from me. What's this? 141, and the water is getting higher and higher on her. Stay with me, okay? Stay alive. Okay, okay. Is she on the first floor? Tell me. She's on the first floor. She's right now standing on top of her counter screaming. How much water is in the building now? It's going halfway up the inside of the building. She's screaming at the top of her lungs. Okay, about how much water is in the street? <laughs> the street is covered halfway, honey. Okay. Because my car is gone and there's several cars that fall down the street. Okay. God, this is worse than the last one. Power County, now on. I was just on the phone with my friend. Okay, is she able to get out at all? No. Okay, man, there's so many of us. Please. How many people are in this store? There's like a hundred at least. All right, try to get people to hire as high a ground as you can inside, all right? Yeah, but it's filling with water, man. I know. We're going to come as fast as we can, honey. I promise you we're coming as fast as we can, yeah, okay? Please help us. All, all right. Are we going to die, man? No, honey, I'm going to do my best so that does not happen, okay? After watching Rob Zombie's remake of the John Carpenter 1978 film Halloween, 17-year-old Jake Evans from Texas murdered his mother and his younger sister in their home with a 22 caliber revolver that he stole from his grandfather. Jake was inspired by the film after watching it three times that week. On October 3rd, 2012 at 11.15, Jake built up the courage to kill. After killing his mother and sister, Jake was shocked and scared by what he had done. He placed a gun on the kitchen counter, walked into the living room, and called 911. As he confessed to the 911 operator, you can only imagine the fear that was going on inside him as he was just six feet away from two dead bodies. Here is his 911 call. Monster County, now we're one. Where is your emergency? Uh, my house. What's the address? 152 River Creek Lane. Okay, what's the emergency? Uh, I just killed my mom and my sister. What? I just killed my mom and my sister. You just killed your mother and your sister? How did you do that? Uh, I shot him with a uh, 22 revolver. And what is your name? Jay Evans. Jay Evans. Jake Evans. Are you sure they're dead? Yes. I want you to stay on the phone with me, okay? Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Hold on just a minute. Where is the gun? Uh, it's on the kitchen counter. Okay. It's a 22? Yes. Okay. Hold on. Jake, hold on. Stay on the line with me, okay? All right.
Jake? Yes. Are you on any kind of medication? No. Well, I, uh, I've been going to the allergist a lot lately. Yeah. Mom, but no, nothing other than that. Okay. How old are you? Seventeen. You don't take any other kind of medication? I mean, other than like Zyrtec and like Advil and, you know, like Sudafed and stuff like that, you know, for the allergies and headaches. But, yeah. You know. Okay, do you, um, is there any reason that you were so angry at your mother and your sister? I wasn't even really angry with them. It just kind of happened. I've been kind of uh, planning on uh, killing for a while now. The, the two of them or just anybody? Pretty much anybody. Why? I don't know. I, uh, I don't know. I don't really like uh, people's uh, kind of attitude. Right. I think they're kind of, they're very, uh, like, you know, emotional, I don't know, verbally rude to each other and stuff like that. Right. And, uh, I don't know. It, it's okay. It's just my family, I don't know, they're just kind of really, I, I guess this is really selfish to say, but to me, they, I felt like they were just suffocating me in a way. I don't know. Uh, I, I, I think I, obviously, you know, I'm pretty, uh, I guess, evil, but, uh, that's, you know, whatever. Okay. Sorry. Are you, no, don't be sorry. It's all right. I'm listening. Okay, you have my undivided attention. Uh, were your mom and sister in their beds? No. Uh, uh, this this is really gonna mess me up for the you know in the future. Uh, see my sister. I told my sister that my mom needed her. Mm -hmm. She was in her room and she came out of her room and. Uh, I, I shot her, she rolled down the stairs, and I shot her again, and then I went down and I shot my mom about maybe three or four times, but I'll never forget this. Uh, okay, that's fine. My, my uh, sister, she, she came down the stairs and she was screaming, and I was telling her that I'm sorry, but to just hold still. Mm -hmm. That, you know, I was just gonna make it go away, you know, but she just kept on freaking out. But finally, she fell down and I shot her in the head about probably three times. So they're both downstairs? Uh, yes. Okay, where are you? In the kitchen. Okay. You're not sitting by the gun, are you? No, it's about like uh, 10 or 15 feet away from me. Um, That's all right. Where's your dad? He's out of town. Do you know where he is? Out of town? Washington, D.C. And uh, to, for, I guess, future reference, I don't really want to see any of my family members, you know, mm -hmm. uh, like it and visiting or whatever. I, I don't know how it works or anything, but I, I just don't want any type of visitors. I don't want to see. Okay. Know. Where do you go to school, Jake? Uh, well, 
I used to go to Leo High School, mm-hmm. but now, now I'm, I'm just kind of being homeschooled. Yeah. Yeah. So there's just um, you and your sister and your mom and dad in the house? Live well, there? no, my dad's out of town. Well, yeah, but normally it's just your mom and your oh. sister and your dad and you. Yeah, and my grandpa and grandma, they live across the street. And my st- oh, my oldest sister, she lives with my grandparents. And uh, I have another sister, uh, and she's out in college. She was going to come out to visit us tomorrow. Okay. You don't want to hurt yourself, do you? Um, I don't know. I'm a little freak, freaked out about guns now. Oh, sure. But you don't want to hurt yourself. I don't know. I I definitely, you know, I I assure you, I definitely don't like myself, you know. I, but I'm just so freaked out by guns now, and just to let you know, like I I I I, I hate the feeling of killing someone. I you know, uh, it. <laughs> I'm gonna be messed up. There there are people that will help you. Well, you just take a deep breath. We have deputies coming, and they're going to help you. We're here to help you, too, okay? Um, We're going to help you. We're not going to hurt you. All right? I understand if you want to. No, we're not going to hurt you. We're there to help you, Jake. All right. All right, that's... They, everybody thinks that, you know... We want to do bad things, but we don't. We want to help people. Right or wrong, we want to help people. And we're going to help you. Okay? Do you understand that? Yeah. We're also here to help. Jake, where is the kitchen in the house? Is it the back of the house? Yeah, I kind of move it to the back of it. Yeah. Okay. Um, we're talking with our sergeant now. He's almost at your house. But we'll probably, what I'll probably ask you to do, Jake, when he gets there, is turn your porch light on. Alright. Okay. Okay, and what he'll probably do is ask you to come out. Okay? So you'll be all right. You're going to be all right. Okay? All right. I'm going to stay on the phone with you, though, and talk with you. That's okay. And you can talk to me. I'll listen. Is there anything you want to talk about? No, not really. What's your grandfather's... Our grandparents' last name. Stephen. Stephen, with a V or a P H. What's that? Stephen. S T A V E N S. Okay. Okay. What's your grandpa's first name? Jim. Jim. And grandma? Uh, Diane. You, is it a gated community? Is there a gate? Uh, yes. Uh, you want the password? Yes, please. Three. Wrong radio. Okay. Do you have a driver's license? No. No, no driver's license? What's your date of birth, honey? Uh, 1995. Month? Uh, May. May. And the date? May 22nd. May 22nd, 1995? Mm-hmm. Okay. 
sure you got some preliminary notifications. You have some make. Uh, can we tell them we're not on scene yet? And we'll let them know that we get there. It's going to be all right. It really is. Okay? All right. But I'm going to stay on the phone with you. They'll be there shortly. Mm-hmm. Won't be long now. Call 434 received. Call 434, are you en route to the 12 to assist? Jake, would you mind going to the front door and turning the porch light on or any lights that you have outside? Yeah, I, I, I turned on. Okay, okay. Call 414, or correction, call 404. My caller has turned the front lights on for you. Are you okay, Jake? Um, uh, I'm thinking about my sister. Yeah. How old is she? She's uh, 15. 15? Yeah. Uh, she, she was, I don't know, she had a really sweet side, but, you know, How long ago did this happen, or how long ago did you you shoot your sister and mom? Just a little while ago? Yeah. Like when you called? 30, 30 minutes ago. About 30 ago. minutes ago? Yeah. About 30 minutes ago. Okay. You'll be all right, Jake. Okay? You'll be all right. I'm, I'm, like, really worried about, like, you know, like, nightmares and stuff like that. Um, Are there any type of medication for that and stuff? Well, I, I think there is. I don't know. I'm not a doctor, but, you know, um, the, the justice system, and I'm sure your family yeah. will get you the support you need. I don't mean to sound like a lunch or anything, but, you know, this is, wow. I've never, like, done anything violent in my whole life, you know? You don't sound like a violent person. No, you don't. But there, um... 
help will be provided for you, medical and psychological. That will be provided to you, okay? So you don't have to worry about that right now. <clears throat> Take deep breaths for me, okay? You're doing fine. In through your nose and out through your mouth. So you don't hyperventilate, okay? Alright. And that'll slow down your heart rate too. I'm sure it's just jumping all over in your chest. There you go. Couple more. Good. That sounds good. You sound a lot calmer right now. Just keep deep, taking deep breaths. It'll keep the anxiety down. Are there any cars in your driveway, Jake? Uh, no. No cars in the driveway? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Deep breath, honey. In through your nose, real deep. I just, I just thought it'd be quick, you know. <laughs> I, I, I didn't want them to feel any pain. That's why I used the gun. <laughs> okay. But it was, it, it was like everything went wrong. <laughs> it, it's all right. Keep breathing for me. It, okay, just in through your nose, real slow out through your mouth. My officers are almost there. Would you be willing to walk out on your own? Uh, yeah. Yes? Uh, I, yeah. Uh, uh, I guess I should start. Uh, I forgot uh, before I called. Yes. There's a gun on the counter. Uh, for some reason, when I put it down, it was loaded. Just uh -huh. to let y'all know. Okay, that's fine. As long as it's on the counter. Yeah, it's on the counter, All right, I, I believe you. Okay, they'll be there shortly, but I'll stay on the phone with you until, you know, it's time for you to walk out, okay? All right. Are you on, a, on your home phone? Uh, yes. Is it cordless? Uh, yes. Okay.
keep breathing. Keep breathing. You're doing good. Well, what color is your house, Jake? Red brick? Yeah. Okay. Red brick? Okay. Okay. Okay, Jake, what I want you to do is, after we get through talking, I want you to put the phone down and leave it in the kitchen. You don't have to hang it up, okay? But I want you to walk outside, but when you're walking through the house and outside, stay visible. You know, don't hide behind any furniture. Open the front door. Do you have a, a glass screen door or a glass door or just the front door? Okay, when you open the front door, step back, put your hands behind your head, and slowly walk outside, okay? Or keep your, I'm not behind your hand, but keep your hands up in the air. Just walk very slowly and walk outside, but keep your hands visible. All right, sweetie? Okay, go ahead and put the phone down and do it. And then just listen to what... Sergeant Fletcher has to say he's very appreciative that you're willing to come out on your own. He thinks that's great. All right? All right. And I'll talk to you later. Okay. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Or closely, I haven't had any time. It's in the call notes. Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed my video, please subscribe to my channel. Hey, I've got shirts coming out real soon. So as soon as they're out, You'll see him, but thank you for watching.